the expectation was very, very low when I came in here. And, uh, and now it's changed. You know, you go play for a national championship and everything goes, okay, now, okay, you can do this. Uh, yeah, you can. You know, I told you could. <laughs> so um, I think that's where the expectation is. And uh, there's no doubt about it. We've done some things uh, this off season that are a little different in the past and uh, in trying to develop leadership and accountability uh, and ownership in the, in the football team and the football program for the player and, uh, and allow, the, allow the players to, to take some owner, a lot more ownership of what goes on when it comes to the development of the team, so to speak. You know, obviously we're, as coaches, we're heavily involved, but there's some things we're, we're doing with our players that are a little different. Than we did in the past, so I, re I really like that. That's what's exciting about you know every new season is um, you know we tweak some things I really like, and I, and I really like where our team is right now. This, this team is at a really good spot. There's nothing like a full Hancock Stadium on a fall Saturday. 540, I feel it, my players feel it. With your support, we can continue our winning tradition. Our guys are, are, are lifting just about every day. They're lifting and running. Um, they're uh, able to do uh, OTAs uh, with us. Uh, no football, of course, uh, but you're still able to get out on the field and, and get some work done. Uh, what that means for us uh, as a position uh, specifically is that we're able to uh, get out and just work on routes. Um, work on you know getting off press coverage. Work on reading the the defense, reading coverages. Just kind of iron out that timing with our quarterback. So um, overall, this summer we're able to still get a lot of work done, um, be around our guys, so, which is the biggest thing. So just being around them. Okay, now fellas, here's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a little circuit we're gonna do now. Okay, what we want to do here? This will be station one. There are four stations. Okay. Everything so far has gone very well, and obviously going to summer school, you know, trying to get ahead academically. We had a, you know, our first 3.0 uh, semester and broke a, broke a, uh, our own record here in uh, this last semester. So it's, it's very proud of our team for that, and uh, trying to build upon that in the summer. So a lot of work going on, and uh, and getting ready for the season. I think we just got to do what we've been doing every day, um, really since January, even December, November for a lot of guys of last year. Uh, we've, we've bought in and we've taken every single day and gotten better and you can see it no matter what the, you know, the event, the activity is that we're doing as a team. So we just got to keep at it and keep doing what we're doing. And I, don't, I think the work that we're putting in is, is, is all that it takes to do what we got to do with the talent that we have. So uh, we just got to stay at work and, and just let our talent on the field just show it for itself because I think we, we have a team that, you know, can compete with anybody for sure. For coaches, what we're doing right now is we're finishing up our, um, we just got off the road recruiting, so now we're finishing up spring cut up, seeing what worked for us, what was good, what wasn't good, how can we improve schematically, and making sure that everything we did in the spring was sound and that uh, if we have any corrections to make, we got to make sure we do that now before we see it in fall. We got to get over the hump. You know, we've been six and five the last two years. But but what keeps you, gives you hope, and will keep you optimistic is 
we were six and five last year. We, we started off really hot, you know, but we played a lot of young guys, you know, not to make it an excuse of anything, but we played a lot of young guys. And if you look back at some of those games we lost, I don't think we lost a game by more than 10 points. You take four or five plays each game, you know, and our outcome could have been not six and five, but we could have easily been nine and two, you know. So you go back through the season and you see some little mistakes that you made on a couple plays and that's what gets you excited. Physical, physical, physical. Beat him up at the line of scrimmage. No free lunch. Okay, remember, find that exposed tip of the football. First group, sit, go. Good set, good set, good set, good set, good set. Hey, we gotta go do it again now. Gotta go do it again. Come on, Jarrell. It's man to man. You got them all over the field. Inside out, inside out. My inside pad on his. Hidden, head behind now. Head behind, head behind. All right, rotating, rotating, rotating. Because, you know, we're, we're this close from being a 9-2, and 8-3 and three football team, you know, and, and being back in the playoffs. And that just the young guys that we got coming back, a lot of guys got some great, valuable um, playing experience last year. So we got those guys coming back. So that's what that keeps us optimistic and looking forward for a great season this year. The birds are back. Catch all the exciting action this fall at Redbird Arena. <laughs> Illinois State Volleyball. Visit GoRedbirds.com slash tickets and back the birds. Show, baby. Welcome back. Uh, what we do at this meeting, uh, just, just a reminder for guys who are first year guys, all, the seniors in the team meeting always sit in the front. They earn that, what, they earn that right to move up. All right, go through the, I'm going I'm to go through an introduction. I'll introduce myself. Uh, introduce yourself, please. The coaches will teach themselves. Tell, tell them who you are, obviously, where you're from, position you play, and you're in school. JT Vulcan, Jefferson City, Missouri, uh, Redshirt Junior Punter. Javion Mason. Redshirt <laughs> <laughs> freshman, linebacker, Kankakee, Illinois. <laughs> Ezekiel Vandenberg, Redshirt linebacker. Redshirt. <laughs> Uh, we've already got the guys and uh, know who they are who have to do the makeup conditioning and, and tests and that kind of stuff. Uh, as a reminder, the conditioning test will be uh, tomorrow morning at 5.45 uh, prior to breakfast. Everybody got that? Guys, I'm going to tell you what. As I told you guys when we uh, departed from the summer program, you guys did a hell of a job. Very proud of you all. Very, very proud of you all. Take what you've done and run with it. Everybody understand that? Take the work that you've done this entire offseason and run with it and win a championship, national championship. Everybody got that? All right. Every time I sit in this room as we start a season, I, I, I kind of bring this up to everybody in this room, uh, and I, I want to make sure you understand that because some guys, you know, obviously think they're more important than others. And, and everyone in here should have the idea, if you're, not, if you're sitting in this room, you are very, very important to our football program. You are very, very important. We need every one of you to be on the practice field. We need every one of you to do what you're supposed to do in school. We need every one of you to do what you're supposed to do socially. We need every one of you to represent us well. Okay? You're very important. Kevin Brown, do you think you're going to play last year? Walked in as a freshman walk-on and played in, this, in the last game and played well. Scored one, two, two touchdowns. 
two scores, two touchdowns, and played very well. Got his chance late in season because he, he caught our eye. When he walked in there, I don't know if anybody really knew who he really was. Other than we knew he was from East St. Louis. We knew he was supposed to be a good kid. We didn't know how good a player he was. And he walked on here and he ended up playing. Let's go town tomorrow. <laughs> Fall camp is, it's, we'll see how it feels. This will be my fifth one. So there, it's a grind, you know, it's a two, three week grind, sometime even longer. I feel like when I was younger back in 2015, um, that it was, it was two a days, it was hot, it was long. So, you know, I feel like they've kind of gotten a little easier. They take them easier on us now, but it's a lot that goes into it. And it's not just practicing football. You're doing stuff all day, whether it's lifting weights, practicing, watching film, eating a lot. So. It's a, it's a grind, but it's it's something that's necessary to get yourself ready to play. I'll do anything. I'll play any position you want me to, coach. Put me on Night Stalkers. That's a grind. It's really a grind. It's just, you know, every day we're getting up, we're playing football, we're lifting, we're in meetings, we're learning. And uh, you really got to love football to be able to get through it. But we have a lot of guys that do, so it's really fun. Uh, it's tough. I, I can't lie. It's really tough. It's a lot of a lot of football every day, just constantly football, football, football. But after about the first couple of days, you get used to the schedule and you start to like tune in. And if you have a, if you really have a passion left for the game, it starts to get simple. Everybody got it. Yes, All right. Good break. Hey, let's go to work. Be great on two, one, two. Be great. Let's go. Hustle around. Yes, sir. This is Redbird Football 2019, and it's time to get on board. Over the middle, it is caught! 540, cuts inside, 35, 30. Back the birds on Agriculture Day versus Moorhead State. Get your tickets to the home opener at goredbirds.com slash tickets. There's plenty of opportunities as far as class, classes out here, getting hands-on experience. Um, it's kind of an elective class, so if you're looking for something different other than what I took, bowling and billiards, you can come out here. <laughs> so, um, but with that, we can uh, do a little tour of the farm. I feel like I'm back home in Mississippi. Well, Mississippi, man. Mississippi, Mississippi man. Hopefully we get to see some cows. I, I really do. That's all I want to see is some cows, bro. I really want to own some cows. Yeah, I'm future. trying to see, okay, uh, milk a cow. To... See, that ain't happening. My man. My man, okay about the milk a cow today. What are he talking about? That ain't going. Hey, look at, look at my boy right here. Hey, hey look at him. I'm about to get in this thing, man. Payne is the one. Payne is the one, man. Buddy, oh, there's a little kitty. Look at it. Buddy got scared by a cat. Scared by a cat. We already got 38 minutes of mostly terrible content. And that's all she wrote at University Farms. We'll see you September 7th. Let's go. Yes, right sir. by the next Let's get it, sir.
Yes, you do have goals that you want to reach, such as reaching the playoffs, winning a conference championship, winning a national championship. But in order to do that, we've got to be able to win each day. We've got to be able to win the practice, the OTA, the weight room session that we're in. You can't just show up on Saturday and expect to win. And you just can't show up week five and expect to, to win a conference championship and get in the playoffs. You've got to start preparing now. If we continue to stack those chips day in and day out, it'll, it'll take us to the goals that we, we want to have. All right, I'm going to give the play of the day because it's a pick six to a veteran corner. Devin Taylor. Hey, I need to see up here. I need uh, Kevin Brown jump up here. Luke Benioff jump up here. And Joey Lombardi jump up here. Come on up here real quick. Uh, we need to go see Alicia and sign your scholarship. Yeah.